Greetings, my brothers and my sisters. My name is Reverend T.E. Ryan, Jr. I greet you in our name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I also greet you from the New Mount Olive Baptist Church, where my pastor is the Reverend Dr. Lavina Johnson Smith. I'm here this evening to speak a word of encouragement. A word of encouragement, we're coming out of the book of Galatians in the sixth chapter and the ninth verse. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Let us have a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, dear God, and ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless me and bless the viewers during this time. Heavenly Father, that we would have hearts to receive and is to hear your word. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Due season and worrying. Paul here is speaking to the Galatians about uh, basically wearing unnecessarily. And that's a, something that uh, we as people do naturally. Sometimes we let things bother us that don't need to bother us. Because we're impatient. But the scripture says, in due season, we shall reap. Let me give you a little uh, background about myself. Uh, some time ago, uh, I was dealing with uh, feeling a little uh, off balance. Not as far as my walk, but as far as the way I was feeling. And as uh, far as the way my, uh, my attitude and my reactions was... Um, with myself and others. And uh, finally, you know, sometimes you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. And and that's what happened with me. I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. So uh, I went to the uh, Veterans Hospital to the uh, uh, mental mental health unit and because uh, I need to talk to somebody. You know, that's, that's something we can't be in denial. And and, and so I, I, I went and I talked to the therapist, and after a few sessions, um, his uh, diagnosis was, you need to go home and get some sleep. Sleep deprivation. And see, sometimes things is not as bad as you think they are if you just take the time to look into something and get yourself checked out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that uh, that sleep deprivation really um, started with sleep apnea. And being that I wasn't getting my proper sleep, my reaction to life was in the negative and not in the positive. Hmm. So you might say, Thomas, this is not no words of encouragement. Oh, yes, it is. You know why? Because if you are not at your best, how can you represent yourself or represent God? So I had to get myself in order by getting a sleep study and come to find out I had sleep apnea. And now, I sleep like a baby. As soon as I put my sleep mask on, I get a full night's rest. And that feeling that I was experiencing before as far as uh, just being not myself, I don't, I don't experience that no more. So your situation may be different. You may be... <clears throat> You may be feeling some kind of way, you know, um, not yourself, you know, not as the outgoing person that you normally are or, or something, you know, or it just may have a heaviness going on about you. Uh, first thing you got to do is not be in denial, because if you don't be in denial, then you will feel the urge to get yourself checked out and see what's going on with you. And sometimes it may be as simple as it was in my case. And that was 
to uh, get myself into a the sleep clinic to to get myself the CPAP machine so I could stop snoring at night, keeping myself up and my wife snoring <laughs> all that crazy stuff and not sleeping. Uh, like I say, your situation may be different, but get your mental health in order. Get checked out so that you can be a good soldier for the Lord, so that you can feel good and not have any hindrances. So in due season, you can reap what you have planted. Amen. This is my words of encouragement to you, is that don't worry, get yourself checked out, pray, so that in due season, you can reap if you faint not. That's the thing right there. Don't faint, because when you faint, you fail. Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you for your time.